pretties welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of girly videos on this channel if that's something you're into make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos for today I have a very exciting video I'm going to finally be sharing with you guys my closet tour I know you guys have been waiting for this video I finally have everything finished and how I want it I am so excited to share it with you guys I don't feel like I need to put a disclaimer but just in case anybody is new here and watching maybe not watching with the best intentions or you're having a bad day or something I just want you to know that this video is in no way to put anything in your face to brag or to make you feel in any kind of negative way this is genuinely just me sharing something I'm very passionate about I love love designing my closet it's kind of almost like a hobby aside from me loving beauty and fashion things i think my other true love is interior design and so i just really love putting together spaces like this it's so much fun to me it really gets my serotonin going and my endorphins going and makes me so happy to organize this room and to add little unique pieces and things to it that really make it my own and really make it a customized space i'm very 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 grateful for absolutely everything that i have and i am so thankful that my life and my life's work that i've done so far has allowed me to accomplish things this far so i'm very thankful that my life's work is what is able to help me provide for myself and to be able to have this closet so i just want to be very just genuine with you guys and honest understand that i'm very blessed and just honestly very 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 I don't want to say lucky because I have worked and paid for this entire closet myself but I do want to say that I know and I understand that the work that I've done this far in my life has allowed me to have all of this and so I just want to tell you guys that I know and I understand and I just want to kind of motivate you at the beginning of this video to just go for it if there's something you really really want just like make a goal and make baby steps every day towards having it and eventually you will have it so i want to just mention one more thing i understand we are in a recession right now i understand that showing you this closet may not be the best thing ever at this time but this is a very highly requested video and it's again it's something that is my creativity outlet to design this closet and due to my job i'm able to have this but i understand that not everybody is able to have this and not everybody can prioritize this in their life and prioritize having a closet like this in their life and I totally understand so I hope you'll take this video with a grain of salt take it as entertainment and hopefully you get some organization ideas for your closet even if it doesn't look like this hopefully there are some little tips and tricks that you will be able to see on how I've organized this space that might be able to help you organize yours but with that being said let's go ahead and get started first walk in this is what you see so the very first thing I have is this canvas. I found this at the at-home store. I just thought this was too beautiful not to use in my closet. So I just put it right here at the entrance. So it kind of makes a statement. And it ties all of the colors in the room together nicely, which is gold, pink, white, as you guys can pretty much see. So I did cover this entire wall on this side in wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that here in a minute, like the other side of the wall. Wallpaper is from Amazon. It's really, really beautiful. It's so nice and it's stuck so nicely. It was fairly easy to install as well. To this side of the room, I had these really long mirrors but before we continue on with what's inside this like closet like mirrored closet I want to kind of go back this way behind the door and show you guys I have another canvas up here also from the at-home store I do have a gold command hook and I hang my favorite juicy couture robe on here I'm currently in a big t-shirt just really cozy doing this tour for you guys so you catch a glimpse of me yes i'm not even ready today but i really wanted to do this room tour and i'm really excited to do it and i just couldn't wait until i got ready so yes i have this floor length mirror to do outfit pictures and um, i'm so excited this was only like a hundred dollars i will link it down below but it was a perfect mirror to put in this spot i love how everything that reflects off this mirror is beautiful in the background 
So whenever I decide to do outfit clips or pictures, everything's super pretty and aesthetically pleasing. And of course we have my door. There's nothing on the door. So that's pretty boring. Nothing going on here. I just didn't want to overwhelm the space too much. The way we have this side of the closet, which is one of the newest additions to my room, is this wallpapered wall. Again, the wallpaper will be linked below. It was really, really affordable, actually. So over here in the corner is Miss Mannequin. And she's just a pink velvet mannequin. I got her on Amazon as well. So I will put a link to her down below. And she is holding one of my favorite pieces, which is like this pearl top slash necklace. This is from Bella Barnett. A really cute pearl beret on top. Okay, so these are obviously sliding doors. So I'm going to show you guys what is inside because it's kind of a treat to open this. So behind the sliding doors, I managed to put one of my shelves that I used to use to store my purses before I got my modular closet, which you guys will see at the very end. I will show you guys my modular closet, so stay tuned for that. But yes, this used to be a purse shelf. It still is a purse shelf. Kind of, you know, I'm still using it to store purses, but before this used to be on the wall, on the other wall, like on the outside of the room, not inside the closet. I really needed somewhere to store my more like casual shoes, slides and things, but also somewhere to store some more of my Juicy Couture collection, especially pieces that I don't want the sun hitting so that they don't get ruined, like my limited, well not limited, but like very rare Juicy bags. You guys have seen these. Also, excuse my nails are not done. I'm in the process of doing my nails tonight. I didn't want to have my nails done to organize and clean, which I've been doing all week, <laughs> so I haven't done my nails. I have some of my favorite juicy jewelry pieces. This is not all of my juicy jewelry. If you guys want me to do like a whole collection, talk about each piece or anything like that, just let me know. I believe I had in the works to do a jewelry collection, and I don't know what happened. Like, we I graduated, we ended up moving, and everything just kind of happened. So yeah, I have a limited edition not limited edition, like a rare uh, Victoria's Secret charm bracelet from like years ago. Then I have some of my favorite Juicy Couture makeup bags. So we have this one, which I just got, you guys saw in my wedding packing vlog. Behind here, I do have my other, like some more Juicy makeup bags. I really love Juicy Couture. If you're new to my channel, I do tend to collect a lot of juicy pieces. They have to be pieces that I'm really like absolutely in love with. So there's like a little purse back here. This one is the one from the Stony Clover collection. My, some of my favorite most used body sprays and lotions here. I have some perfume, my Prada Candy, my Moschino Bear, and I have all of my juicy perfumes back here. Anytime I'm feeling the juicy vibes or I'm dressing in a tracksuit, this is where I go to pick my scent or like my perfume my fragrance of the day cute little juicy dog i got as a gift when i purchased i love prada candy i know it's overwhelming for a lot of people but it's so nostalgic to me this is the fragrance i wore all through college i saved my pennies for this and i had the little bottle of it and i would just like savor it it was my favorite thing in the world so yes juicy bag that was bedazzled and created by classically plastic Behind this bag, I have some Victoria's Secret little, um, like, clutches. There's actually two of them back here, so I'll show you guys. Favorite scarves right here. My, bur my two Burberry scarves and some Victoria's Secret scarves. I just like how they look displayed right here. Then at the very top, I have some more juicy bags. Inside of the clear Stony Clover juicy bag, I have a Daydreamer that I painted myself. Like, I painted the leather pink. It used to be black, but it is the gray daydreamer. And then I have this book bag right here, which is one of my favorites. Down here, I just have a lot of my casual shoes, my Converse, sneakers, shoes that I wear constantly to go on, like, walks or, like, slides. I wear constantly. You can probably tell some of them are dirty, but they are well-loved. Yeah, that is this entire corner. Oh, I almost forgot to show you guys this, but this is my juicy bag that I use to grab and go, usually. Just, like, a quick, easy go-to purse. It's so dirty because of it but i really love her so i keep her right here on this command hook so moving over this way i'm gonna go ahead and open the other side of the closet this is mainly storage but i am gonna go ahead and show you guys what's in there i have a shoe shelf where i keep more casual shoes that i don't use as often 
And then I have all of my hats inside of this. So all of my cute hats that I like to wear pretty often. Then back here, I hang a lot of my robes tucked away. I only keep one or two out that I'm currently using. Once those are dirty, then I'll come and grab another one from in here. I have those same gold command hooks from Amazon. I will link them for you guys. Back here, I hang a lot of my winter clothes for right now. I'm about to have to pull probably some of this out, but usually I don't really take it out. This is very accessible. Like I can reach pretty much everything. So um, yeah, I just keep coats, sweaters, and long sleeve like cardigans and just different i have like some tweed things i need to order more hangers for some dresses in here that need to go on the dress rack but i don't have any more matching hangers so i just kind of keep them in here these are like my miscellaneous hangers you don't really see them so but you can see it's a lot of sweaters and in the very back i have my coats so on the bottom i have my winter boots like a lot of my boots that didn't fit and then i have things that are honestly just stored away in here so yeah this side is like more like storage and i put things that i don't know where else to put i even have like extra tote bags i pretty much have this like thing this like i don't know what this is but i just hang like tote bags all down it and it saves space Okay, of course you guys see the island in the middle, so we'll probably end up going through this last. But I also have this gorgeous antique, it's like a nightstand, but I just put it here and it just worked out and it's such a cute spot for displaying some of my things that I just don't want to be hidden away. I have my brush set here that I created with SL Miss Glam. And then I have the photo, like the thank you card that came in the brush set. And then we have... Some of my favorite go-to things like my Sol de Janeiro lotion and body spray. You can see I use this quite a bit. So it being right here is super convenient. Also the City Lips lip oil that I use all the time. This is just for decor because I thought it looked cute there. But yeah, the rest are just like really essential go-to things that I use all the time. Hi mama! We have the kitties. They're always part of the room tours as we know. This is Chanel. And uh, we have a candle which I light sometimes from Juicy. You know what? I should have lit them for this room tour. Let me just get some candles lit and we'll continue. Oh my gosh guys, lighting a candle makes such a difference. It makes me so excited to have a candle lit when I'm in here or when I'm getting ready or filming YouTube videos. It just makes it such a mood in here. So yeah, we have a candle lit and before I cut off to light that, I do have my wedding shoes displayed right here. They're just so beautiful. I love them. They're on top of a little cake stand. Continuing on this way, I do have bags like along the top of the closet. And in here or in this rack, I have like all of my tops that I like to hang. Tops and blouses and long sleeves. I even have a couple little like light sweaters up there that I do use. I plan to alternate this with some of my winter things when winter rolls around. But not too many. Not too much change to be honest. I feel like I have my closet set up really nice where I can access everything. So it doesn't feel like I'll have to really change up too much. So right underneath the clothes, I have all of my perfume. I do have the new Ari Pink Cloud or Cloud Pink. If you guys want me to do a video on that, just let me know. Behind here, I do have some of my everyday tote bags. Inside of this top drawer, I have all of my jewelry. I didn't really organize this too much before I started, so yeah, there's like some pieces missing and stuff, but yeah, this is where I keep all of my jewelry pretty much. In this top drawer, I have like pretty much just shorts. Bottom one, these are all of my like tops. Well, a lot of tops. A lot of these are basics, like just basic ribbed long sleeves, basic ribbed or like basic plain tops. Um, back here, I have like crop tops. We have body suits all right here, like my plain body suits, my skims. And then over here in this corner, I have like dressy crop tops that I didn't want to hang. And like I told you guys, I really need more hangers as well. So maybe I just didn't have hangers for them. But yeah, those all live like right here. Just a bunch of my 
dressier crop tops in corsets also corsets that don't have straps like strapless ones that i can't hang are right there the next one i believe i have pants like colored jeans and dress pants and the very last one i have all of my jeans and they are color coordinated so they go from light wash to dark wash and i have some black jeans in the back there that's how i've organized my drawers if you guys are wondering i know that's why you guys like watching these videos it kind of gives you inspiration to organize your own closet so i'm hoping you're feeling inspired so far move along to this right here I just have bags in the top two shelves in the middle when i have my flower box from rose forever this is my pink marble flower box she is beautiful on top of her i keep my wedding tiara then i have a little chanel bag and some cute little designer books and then i keep my most used wallets business card holder and i just keep wallets on her this section right here i just pretty much just fixed up i did put my little bracelet holder here i like displaying bracelets like this it makes it easier for me to kind of know what i have then for them to all be stacked up inside of my jewelry case so that's why these in particular i like to keep out i have a little like dust free case for all of my luxury lipsticks this mirror i found at marshall's super inexpensive you guys it's like a miniature version of my floor length one that i have in my living room as well as the one that's in my other closet system across from this one which you guys will see on the other wall then I have all of my headbands, love my headbands, and then I just put a bouquet of realistic looking roses right here. These are from Amazon, if you guys are interested, again, link will be below. We'll actually link my storefront. I have all of my belts in here, and on the back I have hair bows. The organizer, by the way, I used to get a lot of questions. This is from Ikea, like the actual organizer these used to actually have acrylic organizer options and then they remove them i'm not sure why but this organizer does just fine as well so the next drawer has all of my skirts as you guys can see i have a lot of tweed and a lot of like light colors but like here's some ze zebra ze what am i saying i don't know my animals right now guys <laughs> here's some cheetah print and some darker colors at the bottom i kind of color coordinate so this is like whites and blacks this is like all my pinks and pastels and things and then over here i have more pinks i have a lot of pink as you guys know but yeah here i have all of my sweaters i just brought these out and organized them these are sweaters i had hanging in that side of the closet there but i brought them out because guys we're getting so close to fall season i'm traveling to texas around my birthday so i really am gonna need to pack some winter clothes because it's freezing over there so well it will be freezing by the time i go obviously so yeah i decided to really organize all of my sweaters and just make this drawer my sweater drawer this one is not really my favorite drawer but this is like my t-shirt miscellaneous drawer i have some more like neutral colored sweaters here and basically all of my t-shirts long sleeves short sleeves crop t-shirts barbie t-shirts juicy t-shirts brats t-shirts all of them live inside this drawer as you can see it's not super full and pretty much 90 percent of my laundry is done so we definitely have some room to grow if we want to add some more but i'm not a huge t-shirt girly so this last one I have more casual like sweatshirts so graphic sweatshirts, Victoria's Secret pink sweatshirts I do have the strawberry one here because there was nowhere else to put her but yeah these are more sweatshirts right here moving along to this right here so of course this is what houses most of my tweed and my blazers and any kind of tweed sets so the sets I hang them in a very specific way I have basically a pant hanger that hangs onto the top hanger or, or, you know, jacket hanger. And they live together, like the set lives together so that I never lose it. So this one is the same way. So if you need like an idea of how to organize your sets, this is a really, really great way to organize any sets you might have, even if it's not tweed. You have quite a bit of blazers and 
tweed. It's one of my favorite things to wear. Right underneath that, I have the rest of my perfume collection here. We have one of my new favorites, which is this Prada Paradox one. We have another new favorite, which is this Juicy, or not Juicy, it looks like Juicy, but it's Victoria's Secret Tea's Sugar Floor. I have a random Juicy box. This actually ha has my grandma's rosary. May she rest in peace, but I keep it inside of this Juicy box. And then back here I have a Juicy Couture backpack that I reach for when I go editing a lot. I have a little purse. And then I have a Victoria's Secret sparkly makeup case because it's just too pretty to like hide away. So up here is my wallet tray and this right here I organize with all organizers from like Ross. These organizers from Ross are like pink at the bottom so I really like how it makes the drawer look. And sirens are going off. All of my card holders on this side, some of my like I guess flap, what do you call those, like trifold wallets here. I have a zippy Victoria's Secret wallet. I have this new one from Shop Pink Princess. This is a like key holder which is so cute. I love this so much. I do have a coupon code with her so that will be in the description box. I have a long wallet and then I have uh, all of these really gorgeous, really cute juicy wallets right here which I do use quite a bit. I love my juicy wallets. Okay, so we get to this drawer. These are all of my sweatpants. I have quite a bit of sweatpants. I do work from home, so I'm gonna justify it by saying that. <laughs> drawer, I have loungewear, so it's a lot of like my little like lounging sets that are like really cute loungewear that I wear out. Like this has like, it's a little skirt, like a tennis skirt, and then it has like a top. A matching top which is like in here keep a lot of like my the shirts here that I use to lounge in like that I don't necessarily work out in but more like lounge I think I've said lounge just take a shot for every time I've said lounge. don't do that don't do that don't do that don't take shots leave a comment for every time I've said lounge in this video or count how many times I've said lounge and put it in the comment section. Okay, the next one is my Pilates princess drawer. <laughs> Not really. This is basically my workout tops and workout sports bras as well as my Pilates socks and my fanny packs. My Lululemon one's missing because I just used it. But yes, I keep all of my workout things as you guys can probably tell this is my most used section i live in these clothes here most days unless i go out then we go dig into these bras and they are sort of organized by color like we have neutrals here we have pinks whites we have purples i don't know they're sort of organized sort of not sometimes i do laundry and i just put them back so the very bottom one is all of my leggings which is overflowing and I need to declutter really bad. I don't know how I end up with so many leggings, but I definitely don't need this many. So I do need to get rid of some. We have leggings and we also have like workout shorts in here. Last section are my shoes and I did want enough shoe storage. This was my main like desire or <laughs> my main non-negotiable when it came to building this closet was enough shoe storage i am a shoe girl and a bag girl and i really love having different options for shoes and bags due to making not only fashion content but also just me as a person i like dressing cute i like having options and i love this shoe section if it's pretty much every shoe that i can ever want and i love the boot section like can we not so all of my boots are right here we have some more casual shoes and things and these are double stacked so there's another pair behind there we have heels and these are like in no particular order like i just put them how i felt they looked nice and then i have my uggs at the very top which i'm probably gonna bring down to here once the temperature gets colder but for now, this is what is working for me. We're this way and we have my vanity. And my vanity, I have changed since the last time you guys saw it. So I've added this 
gorgeous neon sign from crazy neon i will link it for you guys down below the reason why i decided to put jaw door is because that means i adore and i feel like this closet has everything that i adore in it and it just made sense and it's a phrase that i've always really loved so that's why i put jaw door up there have pink curtains on a gold rod and then we have my vanity so the vanity is from impressions vanity but i did add things to tweak it and make it my own so i added this little piece up here to give it a little like girly touch i did change out the knobs to have these little like roses on it and i thought it made it so much more girly and it matched the closet a lot better the diamond ones were really cute too but you know i was just ready for something different right here i have a stepping stool because i am so short and in order for me to be able to reach the top i need a stepping stool so i have that eventually i would like an actual like ladder step stool like with two or three steps because i still struggle to reach the very top with this little one on top of my vanity i have this feather lamp which we all know and love from one of my videos so if you guys want to see how it looks lit up we're actually going to keep her lit up it's actually kind of a vibe i like it so here's what the top of my vanity looks like i'm not going to go into my vanity we're going to do a separate vanity tour but yeah this is generally what the vanity looks like i'm going to go ahead and turn the lights on a little bit so you guys can see how it looks lit up i just love getting ready and doing my makeup and it's just so nice to get ready on this vanity and it has everything it's so functional which is what i told you guys when i moved i could have definitely gotten a different vanity or chose something different but this one is just so functional i just couldn't choose anything different to be honest and this is all from impressions vanity the mirror and the desk part hair is from wayfair and this is the perfect shade of baby pink and it has acrylic legs it's so beautiful so i'm going to link the chair as well i'm gonna link everything that i possibly can the pillow is from the at home store i have my juicy couture robe hanging here this is my go-to robe and this is a robe i wear most of the time unless it's dirty so she just lives on the chair right here like i said i'm not gonna go onto the vanity too much but the top this right here is from Rose Forever as well, if you guys are wondering. And I just keep some of my favorite, like, aesthetically pleasing products in there. And we're getting ready for fall, so you can probably see the cute little fall products in there. But yes, I will have a vanity tour up very soon. Before we continue on, I want to talk about this right here. So this is my chandelier. And I got this chandelier from Amazon during Amazon Prime Day. I'm going to link it. And this is a plug-in chandelier. I do live in an apartment so I cannot electrically wire a chandelier so I got this with the little like hook to hang it up there and I just hung her up and then I just ran the cord um, behind the rod and plugged it into the vanity and that's how we have a chandelier in an apartment thing is impossible you can make it happen if you want to you guys i really wanted a lighting fixture i really really wanted a chandelier and now we have it one way or another because it was a non-negotiable for me to have a chandelier in my walk-in closet moving along this way this is the view of the other side of the closet so this right here is my modular closet so when i was looking for something for this closet i really wanted something that would be very functional for my purses but that allowed a little bit more storage and somewhere to hang my dresses nowhere to hang my dresses before this i would hang them inside of this side of this closet but the rod inside of this closet is wooden so the hangers do not slide easily on that rod for some reason and i cannot take it out it's like built in there's nothing i can do to change the rod so it was not my favorite thing ever so i decided to whenever i was customizing this closet because i did customize this by the way you guys on modular closets you can customize your entire closet and it's super affordable and it's built in so like if you compare it to like someone coming in and building in your closet it is so much cheaper it is like a fraction of the price I did add a section for my dresses here 
There is also a little section up here where I keep some more purses. On the very top, I have my suitcase, my luggage, and my juicy duffel bag from the Stony Clover collection. So we have all of my dresses hanging here. I do love a lot of pearls, feathers, pink, tweed. You guys know my color palette. And then underneath, I turn this into more shoe storage for sandals and loafers and really uh, baby heels like kitten heels this has just worked perfectly i have enough storage for all my shoes there's actually room to put more shoes behind these shoes these are all of my shoes and they fit perfectly in my closet now i used to have to have baskets with all of my sandals and it was so frustrating every single time i needed to find a pair to dig through that basket they were basket they were these baskets actually <laughs> i'm really happy that i can now see all the shoes that i have so next I have the first section of purses. A lot of this houses some of my like juicy bags. Okay, moving on, I have my little coffee section here, which I love. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the room, if I'm being honest. This is the one thing I miss the most about my other beauty room, is having my coffee bar cart. And so it's something that I immediately knew I had to incorporate when I was building this custom closet. So I did get a pink Keurig that it actually wasn't pink it was like an off-white and I painted it pink myself I have a mug already on here this is from my merch work hard so you can shop harder these cute little jars that hold the sugar coffee and tea and yeah I will make coffee in this most days and then in this little jar I just have some stirring spoons right here is from Hobby Lobby and the flower box is from Rose Forever in New York. So in this drawer is coffee supplies, but I have not organized this at all, you guys. So hopefully we could do like a DIY like coffee bar organization video because I need it. I really need to get that organized. The second drawer, I have all of my cozy pajamas. So this is just like juicy pajamas mostly. In the next drawer, I have my fuzzy socks, some longer knit socks that I like to wear to lounge, and I have my seasonal pajamas, so I have like my Halloween ones, I just brought these out. Very last drawer has all of my extra makeup bags, and this was just the best place for me to store them. I was using this drawer for swimsuits, and then I realized like I don't go swimming that often. I know I live by a beach, but... You know, I go into my swimsuit drawer like maybe once a month. So I decided to put something that I need to access more, which are my makeup bags. When I pack my bag or anything, I'm always looking for my makeup bags. just to all be scattered in purses or like in my bathroom, in my bedroom, in my car. So finally I decided I just need to have a spot because I might have ADHD. Like <laughs> if I don't have a place for things, my brain cannot register to put it away. Like... For me, I have to do the don't put it down, put it away rule all of the time because I can be very unorganized and messy and things will just go absolutely everywhere if I don't implement that rule in my life. And so that's why you guys see this organization. Everything has a spot to go and that's because my mental health needs it. Like if, it, if things don't have a spot to go, they're gonna end up all piled on my dining table or the couch or like something crazy like that. Anyway, I went on a tangent, but yes, this is what I do to keep my brain organized. So at the very bottom of this, I keep my larger tote bags. So I had this one and then in the back I have my Victoria's Secret one. Behind this one I have my pastel Louis Vuitton bag and to stand this up, I keep mailing boxes. <laughs> Whenever I sell things on Poshmark or something, I know to go in this purse and I can find a box. <laughs> I have this little thing. This is where I keep all of my swimsuits and it's just tucked away in here. I'm not going to show you guys what it looks like. It's not organized. They're just all thrown in there. And lastly, we get to the last section of purses. So this is mainly like my more like dressy purses. I feel like those are more casual purses on that side and these are definitely more of like the purses I would go to for a date night or whenever I'm really dressed up. 
Although not always. I use this one. Let me show you guys. I use this one casually a lot and this one. The last of my purse shelf. Okay guys, lastly I will show you what's on my island and in my island. So on the very top I just have some really cute body sprays and things and a candle. This little like glittery thing that I put on my body. Another body glitter my strawberries and champagne and i've thought about adding a flower a little like flower arrangement here but i just haven't found one i like so over here i like to keep my island pretty clear for the most part because when i get new mail this is where i unbox it so i just got these new adorable pouches from shop pink princess so i have them there and then i keep my neverfull here because i've been using her a lot lately and Fall time is rolling around, you guys. Fall is when I use this bag the absolute most because I have class, because I'm not only editing for YouTube, but I'm also doing a lot of homework, and I normally have to carry both my iPad and my laptop all the time, and so this is just the most functional bag for that. So in this top drawer, I keep all of my sunglasses. <laughs> They're not very organized. I want to find better organization and I do need to declutter some of these. I've accumulated a lot of like Barbie ones from things that I've gone to. Like a lot of people do the little Barbie sunglasses as party favors. Some purse accessories, passport holder, ID holder type things. And we have some pouches that I can use for my purses. These are all juicy of course. Juicy wallet and then we have some of my longer juicy wallets here. In this top drawer, I have a little purse refill station. I think you guys might have seen this before if you watched my organization videos. But I just keep a lot of purse things here. I have AirPod cases. I have little baby perfumes, lotion, like tiny travel lotions, some hand sanitizer, body sprays, gum, and a Tide pen because usually need that. In the next drawer, I have more of my Juicy Couture jewelry. The next drawer, I have all of my phone cases. The next drawer is pretty empty. It just has a juicy scarf in there. The last drawer, I have new makeup I've gotten in PR that I need to test out. And yeah, pretty much all of this is new makeup. Um, in here, I keep makeup type tools like beauty blenders, face razors, powder puffs. Then I put the dirty ones on this side so I know to clean them. I have miscellaneous things in here lashes palettes and more palettes i'm telling you guys i don't even know what to put in here so i just have miscellaneous things like in here i have these moldings that i want to add to the island a box cutter a little bag for my bachelorette candles in here wax for a wax warmer an ulta coupon <laughs> There I have extra candles and I have coffee mugs that I use when I make coffee in the morning. And this is like the little lint remover thing. Like it takes off like the fuzzies off your sweatshirts and stuff. This bottom one I have my Shop Pink Princess pouch. So these are the pouches I told you guys I just got from Shop Pink Princess. And these fit my iPad. This fits my iPad mini perfectly. She sent me two sizes and the bigger one fits my iPad Air, so it's super nice. Definitely go and check her out. But that is the entire room, you guys. And finally, finally I give you guys a room tour of this room. It's finally complete, honestly, and I'm so happy with everything, how it looks and how functional everything is. It's so easy to get ready in here. Everything has its space. This is like serotonin for my brain. This is where I go to feel happy. I just sit here and appreciate everything that I have, you know, because I've worked hard for it. So, yes. A lot of people want to tell me that that's not true and that I didn't work hard for what I have. But the people who say stuff like that have not been around long enough to know to know anything about my life. So, they don't really truly know that, you know what I mean? So... Okay, so that is everything for my closet tour, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you 
enjoyed seeing how I organize everything and decorate everything. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. I just cannot speak today. But I really, what I'm trying to say is that I really hope that you guys just were able to escape your daily life for a little bit and watch this video and see pretty things and just feel inspired and motivated and have positive energy afterwards that I'm able to like kind of project those feelings onto you. I'm able to just give you guys a little, little tiny piece piece of happiness today so so in the comment section before you go make sure you comment what your favorite part of my closet was all right guys i love you and i will see you in the next video Mwah. bye